Uh, yeah, it's the off-season, boys. It's the off-season, and there are no news stories to talk about. So we're going out there and talking about Hughes. In the last video, we had discussed Hughes. In this video, we are discussing Hughes as well. Although the last video was about Kent Hughes, and yeah, that was from like five hours ago, and I ended up passing out, so... That's all we got in the show floor for today, but uh, yeah, this video is going to come out a little bit sooner. Today we are going over one of the biggest, most ridiculous, craziest, and nonsensical ideas that you could imagine, because Canucks Army and the Twitter account over there posted a recent clip of the Canucks Conversation podcast between David Quadrelli and Harmon Dale, two guys who are... Actually, I think they're my age, which is crazy when you consider how smart those two guys are compared to me. But they had themselves a conversation on the Canucks Conversation podcast, and I'll leave a link to the clip on Twitter in the description below. You know you're in the middle of August when we start talking about a trade to unite the Hughes bros in Vancouver. And the article, or not the article, the video opens up with a listener question. What would it take for the Vancouver Canucks to get both Jack and Luke Hughes? The video opens up with David Kudrelli saying, hey, it would be Pedersen, Villander, the Karamaki, Hoaglander, and a first to get both Hughes brothers. That's not enough for Jack Hughes by himself. Because Jack is younger than Pedersen, you could arguably say that he is a better player than Pedersen, he's on a better contract than Pedersen, and so it's going to take multiple first-round picks, in Quadrelli's words, to get this kind of a trade done, and at the end of the day, there are some trades that just don't make sense. And Dale chips in, says yeah, he agrees with that sentiment, says hey, if Vancouver hits up New Jersey and asks, hey, we want to make a huge trade done, New Jersey is going to be like, okay, what do you guys want for Quinn? That's the clip that was going around on Canucks Army socials, and I wanted to expand on that idea here on YouTube because, you know, it makes for some fun, clickbaity content. And essentially, I'd say that when it comes to the idea of all three Hughes bros playing on the same team, the biggest and more commonly held belief, I would say, is mostly shared amongst Devils fans rather than Canucks fans. They say things like, oh, Quinn is going to become a free agent, in 20 whatever the heck his contract expires i should have had that up let's go out there to see quinn hughes and his puckpedia page it expires in 2027 that's when he'll be a free agent again and that's when he'll come to new jersey to play with his brothers and be a top pairing defenseman alongside of simon nemich or whomever else and that is a lot more of an attainable path if you wanted to say, hey, my goal is to put Hughes, Hughes, and Hughes all on the same team. It's a lot easier to do that than it would be to make a big trade to get both Jack and Luke to come to Vancouver. The assets for that is just going to be too high. Like, as Quadrelli says in the video, Jack Hughes by himself is already a potentially more valuable asset than Elias Pettersson. Better, younger, and cheaper too. Okay, better, you could debate that, but realistically, these two guys are both going to be franchise-defining players on their hockey teams, and when you think about Luke Hughes, he is also one of these prospects where it's like, hey, if Luke Hughes was on the Vancouver Canucks, he'd be a better prospect than Elias Pettersson. And I mean the defenseman Elias Pettersson, he'd be a better prospect than Tom Volander. Luke Hughes is just really, really good, and he's got top two potential. He's got, let's say, 50, 60 point potential. He's got offensive two way dynamo potential while being bigger. He's the biggest of the Hughes brothers. So when you have two guys that are both going to be cornerstone, franchise altering pieces for a team at, what is Jack Hughes, 23 years old? Luke Hughes is, what, 2021 draftee, September born, one of the youngest players in the entire 2021 draft. He is uh, 21? 21, 21, 21? Yeah. Like, these two guys are going to be so good. So for Vancouver to even think about trying to get one of them is going to be a lot, so let alone two. I mean, I don't disagree necessarily with the Quadrelli pitch of, like, Karamaki, Villander, Pedersen, multiple firsts. And Hoglander, I mean, that's a lot for Jack Hughes, but at the same time, it's like if New Jersey is going to part with their number one franchise center, who's potentially going to be able to get 100 points every single year, it's going to have to be a haul, and that is the haul. 
right? I mean, Connor McDavid, when he was in Edmonton in 2017, 2018, the Oilers were not going to trade away that guy for anything under that kind of a price tag, right? Austin Matthews in 2019, the Leafs were never going to do that. New Jersey in 2024, same thing. So the fact that there is an asset like this that is so good, it's good for New Jersey, but then you think about the extra addition of the defenseman on top of that, not only does this not make sense for New Jersey in any capacity unless the Canucks overpay like crazy in general, like not only is a franchise center at 20 three years old and a top defenseman prospect at 21 years old already hugely important for their team and already a huge no-no on the trade side of things but when you add that these two are brothers and they've kind of incorporated themselves into the New Jersey scene and of course the intention would be for them to be brought over to Vancouver to have them play with their oldest brother that's when it becomes like no we're not going to do that firstly we're not going to trade away our guys and secondly Vancouver we're not going to give you the satisfaction of uniting all three of these guys on the same team because that's what we want to do we want to wait for your captain to go to free agency so he could come and sign with us and then he'll be a number one guy here i mean to be honest if i wanted to talk about the quinn hughes likelihood of him potentially leaving vancouver and going to new jersey i don't know if it's all too likely i mean vancouver the management here the coaching staff here the city here the fact that quinn is the captain in the vancouver connect system now says a lot, and I think that he's been put in this really, really important position that he understands, and he loves being this number one guy, so I don't really know if it's going to be possible for Quinn to leave. And if the New Jersey Devils wanted to make a trade to get Quinn Hughes, I mean, what, it goes with Simon Nemec as the starting point? You're not getting this done one for one. It would be Nemec, multiple picks, and multiple other prospects. There'd be a lot to go for. So same thing, you could say, is cut and pasted from the Jack Hughes conversation to the Quinn Hughes conversation. And ultimately, this will prove itself as not too significant of a move either way. None of these teams will find the assets to get the trade done in the ways that their fans would want it to. And it just doesn't make any sense. It's not going to happen. So, of course, big shout out over to the folks on the Canucks Conversation podcast. We had given a shout out to Chris Faber the other day, too. The guy who started it all over there on CC who eventually left and joined the Vancouver Canucks social media team. Now it's Dale and Quadrelli on the Canucks Conversation pod, and they do a really good job. So I'll leave a link in the description once more to the Twitter video that they posted where they went over this entire Jack Hughes and Luke Hughes to Vancouver conversation. But at the end of the day, it's probably not going to happen. Much to everyone's benefit, I would say, as well. So if there was a reality where all three Hughes bros are playing on the same team, it's probably more likely that Quinn Hughes leaves Vancouver and goes to New Jersey. But of course, the likelihood of that happening, period, is not very, very low, in my opinion. It's just a lot more likely than a trade going down of Jack and Luke heading over to Van City. But either way, thoughts in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed this. And bye.